This is for all you multi-talented, multitasking, multi-everything people out there. Take it away. Find your glory, write your story, fearless feet will carry you. Time you own it, take your moment, be a fire burning through. Hustling from night until morning, grinding it out, it won't be long. Feel your power, it's your hour, you inspire, you are strong. Enjoy your Zoa. No applause. <laughs> You're all fired. <laughs> I finally did it. Popeye's new chicken sandwich. Mm. I've been trying to make the perfect chicken sandwich forever. Um, how does that make you feel? You know me. It had to be just right. Mm -hmm. Finding a bun as good mm. as my chicken was not easy. Mm. I mean, I did it, obviously. I think we've made a lot of progress here. I feel great. Good talk. Mmm. I'm proud of you. My new chicken sandwich is buttermilk battered and served on toasted brioche. Try it in spicy or classic. Love that chicken from Popeyes. I finally did it. Caesar. Just look at him. Politician. General. Author. Ruler. Legend has it, he's not only stared into the belly of the beast, he's had it for dinner. Here he's free to relax, or party, or relax, or party, or relax, and party. His is a world of opulence, excess, and the occasional impulse buy. Not one to rest on his laurels, he's famous for ushering in a new age of entertainment. So, for anyone seeking a place where the sun never sets on a good time, all this awaits. I am Caesar, and I approve this palace. Well, hello, 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 hello to each and every one of you. I love y'all so much. I really do. And Melody, I love you too. You know I do. But it's 10 o'clock at night. And I li listen, when I say I commit to something, I really commit to it, right? This was supposed to be season one, episode five of Sharnita's World, right? Hey, Nedra, welcome in. And either way, we're still going to have a good time because it's always a good time on Virtual Tour Live. But like, <sighs> Sharnia's World was supposed to air, the new episode was supposed to air at 9, 8 Central on this network. Hang on. Now that you've reached the stage in your life where quality television is important, Nubian TV is a black network that speaks to your lifestyle. Nubian TV is the world's first digital network devoted to the upscale and political lifestyles of black people. Nubian TV's programming includes politics, travel, fashion, food, automotive, arts and culture, civil rights, music, and more. Watch now on Amazon Fire TV, Roku, or watch globally at NubianTV.net. Nubian TV, it's what you want to watch. Now that you've reached the stage in your life where quality television is important, Nubian TV is and it really is what I want to watch, though. It really is. Well, I'm already here. But anyway, it really is what I want to watch. But it's just like, it didn't come on. 
So with that being said, let's just chill out and do what we do for a full hour, y'all. Higher is way, low is available. Either way, we are live on tour. You see the virtual tour background. You hear the virtual tour music. And then there is me. Hi, everybody. Welcome in. Glad to have all of you here. (sighs) You know, I do three shows in one Friday for y'all. I really do because I love y'all. And also, too, it's a fun challenge to see if I can do it. And I haven't failed yet. But, like, could the show at least come on at 9, 8 Central, though, so I can have something to talk about, though? (laughs) It's all good. Now, I know some of y'all probably think, like, Brand, does this switch your support for Melody? Absolutely, it does not. (sighs) It just gets a little frustrating because it's just like, I want to be able to support, right? I want to be able to review Sharnita's world in its entirety, but I can't review nothing if nothing appears at 9 o'clock. Like I said to Nubian on their Instagram and their comment section, air last week's episode at 8, 7 central. Then air the new episode at 9, 8 central. So now everybody gets caught up with last week and everybody knows what's new so by the time 10 o'clock comes people can do what they need to do but it's all good though because every after show ends up being a good time anyway so it's all good i'm still going to support and also too listen i want y'all to know that when i do the charnita's world after show season one episode five and all that stuff i really do that because i really am trying to support the show so this is not no clickbait they said the episodes come out at 9, 8 central. And then I come on at 10. So there's no click bang over here. The episode did not come on. Okay. So just wanted that to be clear. But anyway, wanted to talk to y'all a little bit because as we got off the air for Virtual Tour Live, something happened. Um, Lizzo made an announcement. And I want to talk to y'all about it. Now, there were a couple of places that, um, you know, it's on site, um, the Jasmine brand, um, and many others, right? So, here is the post. Let me get up for y'all. That's what I'm saying, right? I thought I missed the show. Last week's episode kept... Showing the same scene over and over again. I haven't seen it. I haven't watched it yet. Exactly. Hey, CC, welcome in. And listen. Hey, Tyler T. My G. My welcome in. And hey, listen, y'all. It is all good. You know, we 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 do what we do over here. We we make a dollar out of fifteen cent. Um, what will probably end up happening? Because I think the last time it aired, it aired like what at ten o'clock while we were live on tour together. It just aired right then. So I'm like. If it airs, I'll review it live. That's what that's what I'm saying, right? So I think we are in for another night of um, of commercials. You know what I mean? Um, I see a Lamborghini. Com- well, yeah, I think it is a Lamborghini commercial on my screen right now. And listen, I think Nubian will be successful. I do. Um, they just need more content. They do. And also, too, they need to air their shows. But you know what? Though I, I think Melody knows this too because it's just like this is her, this is her network, right? And whenever you do own your own network, you are responsible for it. So I'm not blaming Melody. I'm not blaming the team over there because guess what? If you already are in the fiery furnace, it doesn't help adding fire to the furnace, right? It doesn't help. I'm, I'm sorry. It doesn't help. Add, it doesn't help adding lighter fluid to the fire when everyone else is hating on you. So I'm not going to do that. But in the same tone that I'm not adding fire to the um, lighter fluid to the fire, I can vent respectfully about how there are people who want support, but if it doesn't come on, then what are we supposed to? Do? And that's and that's just a real genuine question. That's not. That's not being rude. That's not being trifle. That's not being disrespectful. It's just asking a real question. So, 
it is all good. We will chill out and do what we do because I do want to talk to y'all about Lizzo. So Lizzo did this. I'm tired of putting up with being dragged by everyone in my life and on the internet. All I want is to make good music. All I want is all i want is to make good music and make people happy and help the world a little bit better than how i found it i'm starting to feel like the world doesn't want me in it i'm constantly up against lies being told about me for clout and views being above every being by the joke every single time because of how i look and my character being picked apart by people who don't know me and disrespecting my name i didn't sign up for this ish i quit so here are the comments. Quitting is not an option. You need to be here. Don't let anybody see your joy. I love you, Lizzo. It's got to be hard, but don't listen to the haters. Don't give up. Just take a break. Don't let the women's don't let the women's all part of the game. You ain't no queer girl. You're amazing. Don't forget. Felt. In case nobody told you today, you're special. Um, in case nobody made you believe you're special. Your own words. Sometimes we need to be our own cheerleaders. If none of these comments will help, I hope your own words will. I will like that comment because that is that was a very good comment. We love you, Queen from Paris Hilton. Just take a break um, off this internet. Some of these um, comment, some of these comment aren't not real people. Can't let the haters win, Mama Lizzo. You are love. Keep going. You are that girl. They're not. Please don't quit. Screw those people. Please don't quit. What about those who are still fans? You are so needed and important. Don't let them win. Please don't quit. I love you so much. You don't deserve this. This too shall pass. If you keep making your art, you're staying taller and stronger than everyone else on the other side of it. Um, you are loved. You are light in this very messy world we live in. So you cannot so your shine cannot be dim no matter what the trolls want to say right or make a mockery if you are here stay and flourish and chin up and feel better as ever so as you see there are a lot of people really um in her corner right and that is from lizzo's camp okay so you know we we cover anyone and everyone that is talking about so let's go to the jasmine brand Go to the neighborhood talk. Let's go to the shade room. Let's go to its on site. Because I want to read y'all the comments. Because it's quite interesting the spectrum of um, comments. Black. Black culture vibes. Black culture news, that's why I'm at. Because I think even black culture news says something about it, I think. Maybe? It's loaded up. Yep, okay. So we're going to go to some of the other pages here, okay? We're going to go to some of the other um, pages so here is the jasmine brand i mean is she wrong she is just existing people find something wrong she made her money i did mm, interestingly enough y'all can bully elizabeth y'all don't have the same energy for towards diddler and carisha speak for yourself speak for yourself speak for your damn self i remember when she had a breakout performance at the bt awards and the black community was room for her it's sad the way our people just build you up just to tear you down somebody's always put pull the eye quick call when they're vocal about it. they never really do it the ones that sell bits we simply don't hear from anymore and left to wonder and just left to wonder where they left you won record of the year last year girl stop all that talking people on these app really do I like celebrities don't have feelings too. I would never forgive those fake accusers. We barely have any plus size women in music and they ruined it for 15 minutes of fame. Ooh, first of all, no one dragged her. She dragged herself. Treat your staff better. Employer 101. But has anyone been talking about her lately? Haven't heard about anything in her in months. All we've been hearing about is was this day telenovela. That part. Because Diddy has been more talked about than Lizzo. In other news, Lizzo was still here. Okay, see you tomorrow. I cannot. 
um, why it literally takes everybody to drag her. You know what? That was disrespectful. Play that new Lizzo said no one in 2024. So that's the Jasmine brand. That is the Jasmine brand. Let's see here. We're going to go through all these comments because I want to show y'all the spectrum of messages that I'm going to give my take. I've noticed that protect black women only applies to black women everyone likes. Ooh, we have to be honest. There's a lot of negativity online. Stuff. These are human too. I mean, even prior to the lawsuit, y'all were dragging her for everything she did online. She she was always used as laughing stock here she goes again y'all literally boo celebrities like they're all real people with feelings like everyone else is weird sad she dread she's dragged for her public decisions somebody tell her, we don't give a f respectfully lizzo rich please walk off it'll be okay she must got some new music coming this routine is getting played out Pray for mental health. Maybe she needs to log off social media, allow her team around her account. Usually, most celebrities have a social media manager. Uh, Mr. Jerome Tremel, one, get off social media, have your team control, monitor your page. Two, I know we're human, but you don't have to entertain, but we don't have to entertain and give attention to things that don't feel us. Number three, those people in your life, you have the power to end those relations where they are family, friends, doesn't bring you peace p.s we can't give people the power to make us quit whether it's that school job hobby life etc um things we love especially when make when it's making others happy including yourself at the end of the day they got in she did she dog she does this every few months next call her please is there solid proof that she mistreated her dancers i haven't seen personally and i also haven't heard a single word about her lately maybe she needs the attention sitting in love and healing so that is from the neighborhood talk here is from the shade room y'all joke now but if she took her life you're at surprise let's not speak that to existence okay we just lost um lewis gossett jr today no we we're not speaking that to existence i'll be I be wanting social media to end. Go back to Jet magazines where people keeping things um, keep the keep when people keep their hating hearts to themselves. Well, sadly, um, it's tasty cake. Uh, we are no longer in that society, but I do understand the sentiment. It very well said. All she did was have confidence. That's what people don't like. SMH. These arts guy take after Beyonce turned the social media ish off. Here comes two twenty thousand comments that are about to prove her point. Like why in reality, why in reality y'all wish y'all had her life? This is how most people who commit suicide cry for help. It's a sad girl. We don't care. Go therapy, girl. Nobody gives a f. Haven't heard anybody say anything about her. Haven't heard anything about Lizzo almost a year. What show we talking about? I mean, just don't wear a thong to a game where children is at, and you good with me? That is true. She did. She did wear that dress at that game. But regardless of that. We gotta recognize, okay, that moment passed. What else has happened with Lizzo recently? Not that I've seen. I don't know if y'all see anything, but it's been Diddy this whole time. Um, I know this won't happen, but give her some grace in these comments. Yes, she may annoy you, but you truly never know what someone's record point is. How she's crying out for help if it's on site. Let's see here. Lizzo, Lizzo, Lizzo music was trash anyway. She just needs to start doing mukbangs. Okay, wait a minute now. Well, we're not going to do this. We're not going to do this. Because it ain't my fault blaming on the juice. She got some She got some hits. Plus, she can play the flute. Are you kidding? That's not, You don't just wake up and play the flute one day. Um, I think Lizzo do this when nobody is picking on her. We'll quit that she's not the first plus size of heavy duty Q singer. Um, trashy price. I say trashy price because she called out a judge from Sunday Best saying that apparently they fornicate with children, fornicate with somebody else's spouse, but could not name the person. So I call trashy price until she can reveal that receipt. Jill Scott, and I'm sure I'm missing a few people that have this issue. If you want to work in a fluid, constantly be 
constantly um, half naked, be prepared for criticism, focus on making good music. We don't, don't not care. Lord help. She bullies her dancers and get mad when the world bullies her. She doesn't like her own medicine. Girl, f f the comments again. Studio, lo. When you're rich, you're not supposed to care about what broke, what the broker saying about you. That's true, but that doesn't mean it doesn't get to you though. And then black culture news. Not the bully getting upset because she's getting bullied. She's about to be Adele. Come back in a year, hundred pounds so lighter. Watching y'all see, let other people's opinion get make you give up something that you love is sad. My grandmother told me never once. Told me once, never let what anyone has to say stop you from what you're doing to live in life. I didn't stop for the dog. <clears throat> you did not know the price that comes with all this fame and money. I don't think it's her way. I think it's her demeanor, how she carries herself. And she's also quick to bark at somebody else when it's a problem with people bark back. No, hey, just say observations. I wish the best for her. <clears throat> the negativity under these posts is absolutely disgusting because people don't really know what goes in people's lives. For no matter if you're that person or not, it shows a lot about your character to kick somebody when they're down. Now, I mean, honestly, to tell you the truth, like Lizzo, she's been... She's actually been minding her own business for a good while. Now, she said she was in the studio um, doing what she was doing, um, trying to, you know, bring new music out. And, you know, here's the latest picture of Lizzo right here. Lost a lot of weight. Looks really good. I mean, Lizzo, I mean, she is a beautiful girl. I'm not going to sit her in front. So what do I think about all this, right? So, no, you have not missed Charnita. Um, it has not aired at all. Um, let me see who else is coming to chat here. Let me get to y'all comments here. Wait, is Acosta Hue TV? I thought I thought it was free because I know you can pull it up on Roku. Um, and you can pull it up on Fire TV. Question is the show playing on the other network asking for my neighbor? I cannot. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Um, let me see if I can pull up Hugh TV. Maybe it's on there. Um, hang on, let me go home. Hang on, y'all. We're gonna figure this out live together. By the way, like, comment, share, subscribe. Glad to have all you here in the building with me. Thank you all so much. Hugh. Okay, it pulled right up. Hue TV Network. Let me add app. And let's see if it airs there. Hey, Colton Hodge. Welcome in. So what do I think about this story? I think personally, um, so Lizzo, so this is what Lizzo is saying, okay? This is what Lizzo is saying. Lizzo is saying, and I quote, that she is thinking about quitting. This is her message here. Um, I'm tired of I'm tired of putting up with being dragged by everyone in life and on the internet. All I want to do, all I all I want is all I want is to make music and make people happy, help the world be a little bit better um, than when than how I found it. But I'm starting to feel like the world doesn't want me in it. I'm start, I'm constantly up against lies being told about me for clout and views being the butt of the joke every single time because of how I look my character being picked apart by people who don't know me disrespecting my name I didn't sign up for this ish I quit with a peace emoji so I'm in the Hue Network right now right and be on demand it's up to episode 4 right now and it's locked so if I go to live right now let's go to live playing it live right now this is my first time on hue tv network so i don't know y'all okay hue tv network i see a white guy with a microphone right now and a black woman playing a violin so it looks like they're in commercial suits so what do i think about all this and yeah people are vicious you know what i mean and listen um i think lizzo is very multi-talented um like i said her playing the flute actually broke ground for a lot of people who are band geeks 
for one i think her being a plus size um woman actually did a lot of good for those of you who don't know she's got a deal with amazon um studios where she created watch out for the big girls where she did a whole competition to find big girls for her big dance crew and that was very groundbreaking season two i think it's supposed to be um about singing right here let me do this here season two and by the way this won a primetime emmy award by the way ladies and gentlemen yes it beat out rupaul's drag race so she is a emmy winning um she is an emmy winning host um auditions for quadruple threats were open for the emmy winning prime video reality series Lizzo is one of the most exciting, creative, and joyful artists in the industry. Her in the impact of her Emmy award-winning series, Lizzo Watching for the Big Girls, exceeded our every expectation. Said Vernon Sanders, head of Amazon and MGM Studios, we are excited to continue our relationship with Lizzo. Can't wait for our global Prime Video Arts experience. What's next? I am thrilled to continue this partnership with Amazon after an incredible experience on season one, Watch Out for the Big Girls, Lizzo said. I've witnessed lives change for this show. Rather, I'm grateful for the opportunity to continue making space for even more big girls around the world to shine and break down barriers across this industry. Uh, per the release, Lizzo is looking for women who can sing as well as dance to perform on stage. Applications were open at that link, biggirls.castingcrane.com. Casting Crane is one of the biggest links um, that they use so you know how you go at abc.com slash casting that's basically cat that's basically what casting crane.com is until april night with the um exhortation come as you are be sure to bring good energy to show the world how special you are so um and the production company lizzo bangers produces the show in in partnership with amazon studio so with all that being said I think that Lizzo, like I said before, is multi-talented. Like I said, playing the flute allowed band geeks to feel important. Um, the fact that she broke through as a plus-size woman is huge. But also, let's not forget Monique Walt so Lizzo could run. Jill Scott did it so Lizzo could run. There's been plenty of plus-size women, but I think what happened with Lizzo was it was a plus-size woman in this generation that broke through. And, um, you know, she did what she did with the dress, sure. Um, and she does the most from time to time, but who doesn't? I think at the core, I think Lizzo has a energy about her that is good. I watched a interview with her about the Breakfast Club and how her dad helped her keep going. You know what I mean? He, and she wanted to honor her dad. So there is a soul to Lizzo um you know even when she appeared at the grammys and everybody was confused including me i'm like wait a minute you got all these lawsuits going on and you're at the grammys so i will admit i talked about lizzo but actually you know what but negates everything you said i did talk about lizzo within the context of how lizzo appeared in the news one thing to know and two things for sure nobody can ever say that Brandley does not cover the assignment as the assignment. No one can ever say that about Brandley. Now, do I deviate? Sure, but if I deviate, it relates to the assignment, okay? Um, I don't want Lizzo to quit music. I think she is a needed voice in music. I, I don't want her to quit um, entertainment. Um, because like I said, I'm still waiting for season two to watch out for the big girls. Um, because I think watch out for the big girls, honestly, um, is a whole brand. I mean, watch out for the big girls dating show. Um, watch out for the big girl entrepreneur edition. Um, watch out for the big girls entertainment awards. Mm -hmm. Yes. Watch out for the big girls cruise. Mm -hmm. Yes. Watch out for the big girls content creators tour. Mm -hmm. Yes. Watch out for the big girls merchandise. Mm -hmm. Yes. See what I'm saying? Like I said, this media brain is the media brain that is. It's because I want everyone to win. So I do hope that Lizzo is okay. Um, the world can be vicious, like you said, Teresa Wright. 
the world can be cruel, cruel rather, and the world can be downright disgraceful. But I don't think that just because Lizzo is going through what she's going through with those allegations, okay? Those allegations are out there, right? But in the same tone that those allegations are out there, um, a banana versus versus now Diddy throwing glass vases at Cassie and selling a lawsuit the day after. I'm not saying one's better than the other, but let's put everything into a context. So that's what I have to say on Lizzo. Because, so. yeah, I, as soon as we got off the air, as soon as we got done being on tour together, um, literally, I saw that. And I'm just like, okay, all right. Um, we'll talk about it maybe Wednesday. Because, you know, Tuesday is uh, part three of Night Day Fiance, the single life. And then Monday is the Real Housewives of Potomac um, reunion. And so part one will be Monday. So, All right. So it looks like it's some content right now on Hue TV Network. Don't know what the show is. Um, there's everybody... Lowe's music channel and then Alpha Network, I guess. Um, let me see what series are is on, I guess. On demand. Strings attached. Okay, so on demand is just Charnita's world and strings attached. I'm guessing. I'm a teenage girl from Harlem struggling. A teenage girl from Harlem struggles with obeying her mother's wishes and with the relationship um, they have in order to play the violin. So I guess that is the thing that was on. Okay. Yeah, it does break my heart because honestly, Lizzo's music is a whole vibe. You know, when she came out with Special, that was a whole vibe too. You know what I mean? Like Lizzo is gifted in the music game. And she deserves to be in that space. I, I will never deny a person their. Um... No, all the episodes are not on Hue TV. So just up to episode four, because this is supposed to be episode five. And I just went back to um, Nubian TV, and it is the Lamborghini um, commercial again. So I. Y'all listen, one thing you can't say is that I don't do my assignment. <laughs> That's one thing you cannot say for sure. So, hmm, 12 people in the building like, comment, share, and subscribe. Glad to have all of you here. So, like I said, I send prayers up to Lizzo, and um, yeah, yeah, I just. I can only imagine. Wait a minute, what the hell? Okay. Um, let me see here. Because, child, there's. <laughs> Oh, wow, there's some updates on Diddy from TMZ. Hang on, y'all. I'm getting them up for y'all. Good damn. Just good damn. That's why we can't have nothing nice. I'm just trying to make sure that I get everything there. Okay. All right, y'all. So there is some um, updates on it. Now, here's one here. Now, remember, we talked about this this morning. This is how real virtual tour life can be. This is how real being a social commentary can be. So remember how I talked about the wanting footage of these free golfs, right? Um, mine's is not locked. I downloaded it off of my Roku TV. I downloaded it off of Roku TV too. Um, 
Elizabeth, Elizabeth Harrison. I'm not not to not to go at you like that with my voice. No, beautiful. Um, but no, I downloaded it too. And when I went into it, it only came up to see to um, not season four. Child. I speak season four to existence, but I meant to say. Um, <laughs> oh, excuse me, y'all. Sorry. Sorry, y'all. Oh, good Lord Jesus. So when I go to on demand, I'm seeing Sharnita's World Episode 4 playlist, right? And I see purchase 299. But when I see but I see episode four trailer. Episode one. So I guess they don't have episode four yet upload it okay so i'm not seeing the um episode five or episode four yet in the hue tv so remember how i talked about how 50 cent wants top money for thank you so much lady B, as always appreciate you so remember how we talked about this morning how 50 cent want top dollar or not top dollar but he would pay top dollar for footage of the free calls well Diddy non-refundable token, <clears throat> non-refundable token listing both footage of the rapper going to the highest bidder. Now it's been a minute since we heard about non-fund, um, non-refundable token through you know, oh my God, you know Bitcoin and all that stuff, that whole era of NFTs and all that stuff. That was that. Now I didn't realize NFT was still around. Um, I went to Kia.com and they had this um, NFT for a um, for for tech dog. But anyway, so basically it says here, Diddy's alleged after hours exports are set to be on Earth. That is, if a new listing hyping up supposed behind the scenes videos of him is to be believed, more importantly, more important more importantly purchase here's the deal tmz has been made aware of a listing on a crypto exchange site that went up by a person who purports to be in possession of a lot of day footage over the years much of which they claim features him in some compromising situations this specifically the listing touts itself as having unearthed never before seen private footage of and photos of diddy in his residence, private jet studios, and various other locations, engaged in private activities, and often doing and saying what appears to be very controversial things. The listing claims to have the video of day of partaking um, in what is of what it is partaking in what it describes as as dubious activities, but stop short of suggesting anything that he's currently under a microscope for. In any case, the listing says any party can have access to this massive dump they claim to have, which they say entails over 13,000 files and three terabytes of content for a price, namely about 1.5 million, which is what they were hoping to sell it for. Indeed, all this alleged content is being hauled as a NFT non-fungible fungible token, and the listing says you can take it off their hands and get access to the files for a cool 425 WETH Ethereum, which comes out to one million four hundred ninety-four thousand thirty-two dollars twenty-five cents. That or the best offer that they could. Um, for the record, I don't know what F. What does that mean, child? F W I W acronym. According to USA Today, for what it's worth is an acronym for, for what it's worth, according to dictionary.com. Thank you very much. For what it's worth, there's no evidence that backs up the notion that this is legit, even though the listing claims it's 100%. So far, there are no offers for what they're selling. It just goes to show that everyone is getting on day feeding frenzy, even crypto land. Uh, of course, the backdrop to all this is the fact that they got rated right on both codes on the on, um, this week by the feds as as this he becomes the target of a federal investigation that's looking into various claims and not any wrongdoing he also has been charged with a crime that picture still creeps me out like that picture and that picture right there like just really like 
is that supposed to be a movie like what is that and to go from this to this laptop to this phone like you see how old we are as a society we reached we reached out to today's team so far no one worked back so let's find out more about this right now this is an exclusive right from gmz but somebody has to have the website right somebody Okay, so it does look like it is. It does look like it is TMZ, but usually you would. Okay, so this came out 27 minutes ago from the Times Now, Times Now News. I never heard of Times Now News. TNN World Desk. But like, where is the actual <sighs> link, though? That's the crazy. Not the crazy, but that's kind of what I'm wondering here. Because you can't just say that and then not provide the link for it. Like, come on now. Well, I mean, either way, right? If this is true footage, then it's then Diddy is potentially done, right? But also, too, who's going to pay one point five million dollars? And it be it, and then it's a scam, and not to mention too, like if I, because I, I can't find it right now. I don't know where it is. Like I just typed in Diddy NFT. That's it, Diddy NFT. Okay, I'm going to Facebook to see if anybody listed it in the comments here like i said you it's dicey right because if you because honestly if you pay 1.5 million dollars and the feds just raided his home in los angeles and miami that footage is going to go over um that footage is going to just go to the government honestly to tell you the truth right so let's look at facebook here Everybody in the industry that's associated with Diddy at this time sweating. <sighs> What's it? NFT. This seems illegal to me. I'm seeing it for. I'm seeing. I'm all for seeing it, but I don't even see how this could be so. This is like more extortion. I hope he goes down, but the legal way. Our system is corrupt, so there is that. I'm running to 50 space. I cannot. So if he sells and someone else owns it, can police cease the video? That's what I'm saying. So I don't know if that's going to be the case or not. But we'll, we'll see with that. Now, here's another exclusive. Diddy's twin supporting dad met pro don't feel that he deserves it. I can't get mad at them because those are his daughters. I got mad at Tyrese because he's a fucking piece of shit. That's an idiot. See, if I had a girlfriend, there would be two dresses. One to try for the elasticity and the other one to, for her to keep. Okay. Anyway, I'm sorry. I, I get distracted. Anyway, Diddy's swing dogs were rallying behind their dad during this difficult time. And what's more, they don't think he deserves to have his life turned upside down. TMZ has learned. Sources with direct knowledge told, tells us that 17-year-olds Delilah and Jesse have proven to be incredibly resilient after dealing with the passing of their mother, Kim Porter, in 2018. As a result, we're hearing that, they're, they, that they aren't all that worried about what's going on with dad. We're told that they've been left dumbfounded by all the chaos around their father, but despite everything, they still see they still see him as a good guy. What's happening to him right now is totally unwarranted. Our sources tell us that the teens have good souls and and are backing their dad in everything he's facing right now, which is less which is evident by the fact that they hit up top golf in Miami Thursday evening with Diddy flashing smiles, no less as a show of support for their pops. 
why they look like a Chloe and Haley Bailey though? Like same body frame, braids, same glasses, or is that just me? Okay. Remember the twins were smiling, putting on a united front with Diddy despite its tumultuous week that saw their dads. Um, Miami and LA homes raided by Homeland Security teams. He brought the story. Federal agents zeroed in on electronics, on cell phones, and computers, and, and are issuing a slew of subpoenas at the companies. Subpoenas to company side today. They are especially interested in manifests from private jets. Stand fashion over their dresses, distracted me. Um, they are interested, they are especially interested in manifest for private jet companies to unravel who they might flow in with, if anybody from state to state or even out of the country. Even though Diddy is clearly a target in a federal sex trafficking probe that's just getting started, we're told that the girls are standing by him and don't think he's done anything wrong. Well, I mean, listen, that's their dad, you know. That's their dad. What 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 are they supposed to do? What's going on with um, Newbie and TV? I hope they don't dampen their enthusiasm. I don't know what's going on with Newbie and TV. I really don't. Um, like I said, came on at um, ten nine central. Supposed to be right after the episode, and I'm watching it live on my Roku TV right now, and it is the Hennessy uh, Paradise commercial. So I don't know. Hey, Nikki News. Welcome in, beautiful. Good to see you. Oh, I love that. How are you, my virtual traveler sister? Oh, you know what? You know what that deserves? Hang on. Hang on one second. I got the perfect meme for this. Hang on. And this is a good one. Y'all not going to be mad at me for this one. You're not going to be mad at me for this one. Y'all are actually going to be very proud. You ready? This is how I genuinely feel. I'm just a little misty. That's it. Well, no, it's spring break. And so in our town, it's spring break. That's it. I'm just a little misty. I'm just a little misty. I'm just a little misty. That is so beautiful. I, that's why I say people are weird. Why would his daughter show him love? Absolutely. That's why I, that's why I'm not getting upset with them. Right. Because at the beginning, middle, end of the day, those are his daughters. Right. I got upset with Tyrese because I'm just like, bruh, did you not read the lawsuit that Cassie did to Diddy, and did you not see the day after Diddy said, Ooh, one day after Tyrese? Did you not see it? Now, the girls are different. Children are different. Those are his daughters. The sons are the sons. Not going to speak on Because that's their dad. What are they supposed to be? That that that. Yeah. Hey, Michelle HF, welcome in. Yes, they do model. So yeah, child, I I don't know. I mean, it's always something. It's always something. Now this now this one here, trigger warning to everybody. Now. This is one of my all-time favorite shows on MTV. And I hope to God almighty that this show comes back because I really do love it. It's called Are You The One? If you have not heard of Are You The One? Basically, it's 10 men, 10 women 
they've been matched up through matchmakers and questionnaires and researching through their exes and all that stuff. If they find each other, they all get to split one million dollars. So basically. So one million dollars, right? Divided by 20 people. Each person gets to walk out with fifty thousand dollars. It is the biggest dating show ever because you have to decide: Are you willing to be about finding the love of your life, or are you willing to get this fifty k? It's a dangerous game, but it's a good game. Now that's a show I would go on because here's the thing: If I don't find anybody, I walk out with fifty thousand dollars. But I do find somebody that I think we can have a future with. That's a hundred thousand dollars together. Okay, just saying. So anyway, XMTV star Connor Smith arrested after long manhunt for child solicitation. Former star Connor Smith, um, Connor Smith rather, a former MTV star of 2015s, argued the one has been arrested for Flo- in Florida after allegedly trying to hook up with an underage girl, bringing a year-long manhunt to an end. The 33-year-old was booked into custody Thursday afternoon, according to an inmate log in Pinellas County, Florida, following poor sightings of him from the Sunshine State. So there is Connor Smith there. The ex-reality show contestant had been one of the state of Illinois since February 2023, where the Lake County Sheriff's Office said that he interacted with an undercover detective online for weeks, thinking the cop was a 15-year-old girl. He allegedly sent explicit photos and pictures of him, photos and videos of himself, and planned to be able to phantom kid to engage in sexual acts February 9th. But when officers moved in to apprehend him, he fled to his pickup truck. Oh Lord! The following day, Lake County obtained a warrant for his arrest on felony charges of traveling to meet a minor and grooming, dismantling, um, or disseminating harmful material. Not dismantling. I'm sorry, disseminating harmful material. A judge also signed off on a million dollar bond if he were to be captured and arrested. In previous running with the law, Smith was arrested on a similar charge in 2021. This after he allegedly raped a 16 year old girl in Indiana. Who the account the alleged victim gave police was brutal. He ended up getting picked up in neighboring neighboring Chicago. Charges were dropped against him in September 2022 when the victim stopped cooperating with law enforcement. So, yeah. Child, I don't know what to tell y'all about the world we live in today anymore. I just. I don't. I really don't. Like, we got that. Jake Paul thinks he could beat Mike Tyson. I still don't believe. I still don't know how his white pri- privilege behind thinks he's gonna beat a Hall of Fame legend boxer. And Mike Tyson was like, was not missing any shots. Jake Paul, you're going to lose. You probably already got paid by Netflix and your promoter that set all this up. But social media is going to drag you. You're going up against Mike Tyson. The Mike Tyson that bit somebody's ear. The Mike Tyson that got it in, in the green room before he went out for a fight. Mike Tyson, the one where, guess what? All he has to do is step in the ring and everybody knows who he is. You, on the other hand, are a YouTuber who dried up all your other avenues and boxing was the thing you found out that you were good at. Surprising. You're going to get your ass whooped. <sighs> so much going on. Now, y'all, this is another story, okay? Now, I don't know how to say this. 
I hope he doesn't either. You big, bad, and bold enough to say it, you better take everything that's coming. Now, we we family, right? Right? We cool, right? We 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 get it in with each other, you know, on hot topics and news stories, right? The next thing I'm about to tell y'all, I I, I don't know how to tell y'all this. I don't know how I'm going to navigate this. I don't even know how mentally I'm going to give commentary on this. <sighs> Let me get the present screen up. I'll let y'all read it first before I read it. I'll let y'all read it first before I read it. I'll let y'all read it first before I read it. I'm not joking. I don't make anything up on this channel. Not a damn thing. I don't make anything up. Can somebody type in one of the chat to know that we're good before I read this? Because I don't know how I'm going to do this. I really don't. I, 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 I really don't. Like, normally I know what to say, but this one, I really don't. Thank you, because I, I, I'm, I'm going to have to get this story out. So it says nursing homes may be to blame for STD spike in adults over the age of 55. STDs, and this comes to us from the Jasper brand. This came out one hour ago, ladies and gentlemen. So breaking news. Oh, Lord, breaking news as people in the nursing home are breaking into each other. Mm. Joyful. Just... Yeah, yeah, big guy, yeah. Zippity do da, zippity hey. My oh my, one wonderful fucking day. Plenty of sunshine, not headed anybody away. Zippity do da, zippity da, fucking day. Okay, STD significantly rising among adults age fifty-five and older. Nursing homes may be a source. Rates of three sexually transmitted diseases: syphilis. Gonorrhea and chlamydia are rising among adults age 55 and over. Hey! Bow, shut up! Shut your damn mouth! I told y'all I did not know how I was going to navigate this. I don't make anything up on my channel, okay? I know. I'll be right. Okay. Rates of three sexually transmitted diseases, syphilis, gonorrhea, and chlamydia are rising among adults age 50. Why? <laughs> Brain, get together. Stop it. This is a serious story. Brain, come on here. Oh, my God. Okay. We're going to get through we're going to get through this because I don't know how to know this shit. Okay, rates of three sexually transmitted diseases, syphilis, gonorrhea, gonorrhea, chlamydia, are rising among adults age 55 and older, according to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Data from the public health agency showed a significant rise in STDs between 2012 and 2022. During that time period, the number of syphilis cases among the age group increased 70 fold. Gonorrhea cases increased nearly 70, nearly 50, nearly 50 fold, and chlamydia cases more than tripled. Matt Lee Smith, who an associate professor at the Texas AM School of Public Health, told NBC News that nursing homes and retirement communities have created opportunities for older adults to have new sexual partners. I told y'all I did not know how I was going to get through this, so don't don't at me right now, okay? A 2016 survey of nursing home directors even found how sexual activity was common among these sex, which often have more female than male residents. Mm. 
that last line. Oh my God. Okay, Ray, you're almost there. You're almost there. You're almost there. In the heterosexual older adult community, there's a partner gap. Women live. Hang on, I gotta get the odds collab on good child. I, I can't. I cannot do this. I, I cannot do this with you people. I I cannot. Oh my Lord Jesus! Okay. Let me get the odds collab up. Hey, 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 everybody! Welcome to the Onyx Collab. Glad to have all you here. All right. In the heterosexual community, in the heterosexual older adult community, there's an age gap. Women live longer than men, and there are there are a larger proportion of females to men. Smith said, "What it can lead to is multiple is often multiple partners of multi, is multiple partners." Hang on. Hey Felicia, welcome in. Um, what it can lead to often is multiple partners and sharing a partner. Somebody get Granny on the line immediately. Now, I am going to find the video, okay? Because we give context around here, okay? We give very good context. Because what I'm not going to do is read this story an hour after it is done. And not have any video, so we're gonna go to NBC News. So that's where they say it came from. That's where the story came from. Okay, here we go. NBC News. Please let me a video. Please, please let me a video because I cannot do this. Damn it! There ain't no video. D- damn you, NBC News. Damn you. Uh, let's see. There's got to be a video somewhere around here, please. So, for those of you in the Ox collab, I'm talking about a, um, I'm talking about a thing that basically adults 55 years old and older are having more sexually transmitted diseases. So there is no video on this. So I'm going to go back to the story here and read the comments, okay? I stayed in a nursing home on the rehab floor after having a surgery after having a surgery. You won't believe some of the things I've saw and heard. Oh my look. And y'all asking what the T is in the chat. I can't stand the internet. Jesus, take the wheelchair. I'm swimming away. I'm swimming away from all of this ish. And I'm happy again. Not Jesus, take the wheelchairs. I bet they test some of the workers. Some of them will have the same STD. The highest number of sexually transmitted diseases are in nursing homes. This has been happening for decades. Well, tall black girl, 54, I had no idea. I promise I am one right now. I kept com- I kept complaining. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I promise I am in one right now. I kept complaining about the lady across the hall crying. The nurses were ignoring me, went over to check Went over to check on her. Her and her husband were humping. This is the second time I did my business. <laughs> it cost me my sanity. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Where's Razy? Where's Razy? I'm not doing this. 
Y'all give me a moment. I I can't. What the hell is going on in the world today? What is what? What hang on? Oh my god. Okay. Okay. I, I need Razy. So for those of you who don't know who Razy is, Razy is an inanimate object. Um, as my pet, because y'all know Cookie um has taste. So, you know, Razy comes in from time to time, you know, for moments like this where it's too crazy. You know what I mean? Because this is just th this this right here. I, I, you know, most of the time I know what I'm going to talk about. Most of the time I know how to navigate anything and everything. I'm a very articulate person, as you all know, right? And I am a wordsmith with my mouth. But that's not the only thing my mouth, my soul, and my body can do. Okay, take that for what you will. I did get to a hundred thousand views. Okay, with this mouth. <clears throat> but this right here, this right here, this right here. Mm -mm. No, 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 boo boo. No, 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 boo boo. Mm -mm. Say hi, Razy. Say hi. Say hi, Razy. Say hi. Say hi, Razy. Say hi. I don't know what the hell is wrong with the air there, but the air there needs to shut the. Words of Dwayne, in the words of Dwayne the Rod Johnson, know your place and shut your damn mouth. I can't. I'm going to zoom in on this story right here. From Nay underscore Nay Bay right here. Okay. This is the young lady right here. Beautiful young lady. Beautiful sister. Almost at 5,000. Almost at 5,000 followers. Blessings to you for the 5,000 goal that you're going to reach. I promise I am in one right now. I kept complaining about the lady across the hall crying. The nurses were ignoring me, went over to check on her. Her her and the husband were humping. This is the second time I did my, my business and it cost me my sanity. Now, I ask you, I, and there's no replies. There's no replies. There are no replies to that comment, but 10 damn likes. I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. No. 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 All right, CC. Good night. No. 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 No, no, no. Mm-mm. 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 Nope. Nope. Mm-mm. I don't want to ever hear that Brandley does does the most ever again in your past, present, or afterlife. I I, I don't want to hear it. And listen, what I meant Teresa right by my mouth, okay, was my articulation my commentary and the soul I give to topics. That has nothing to do with this. Okay, let's get that damn straight right now. Because Sassy TV from the 803 today said, all I gotta do is sit down on his face and make him change his mind. I said all Sassy has to do is say activate and I'm here for it. So let's get this straight. This mouth is on grown thick thighs and women only okay and other places that i can pull squeeze and take hair and use them as reins hashtag giddy up hashtag cowboy carter hashtag yeah yeah okay dang it
you know what? Beyonce, if you need some male bulls to ride on during Cowboy Car 2, you can ride on me. You could you could just put the whole choker around. Now don't grip it too tight. But you know, I'll 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 get on fours, okay? I'll get on fours. Now I would say I will reciprocate, but your man is Jay-Z and my black life bad. So I'm trying to live. So I can't reciprocate. But if you need a bull, if you need a male to, you know, she she she's a cowgirl, Lady B. And she needs a horse. Giddy up, okay? Hell. I want to hear nothing from you, Lady B, this time. Mm -mm. Now, I don't want to... I, you, the comment section, the comment section on this damn story is too damn much. I, 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 I deserve a pass tonight for this ish right here, okay? You know what? You know what? You're right. I'm gonna get in the corner. You're right. You're right. Let me. Let, you know what? Let me go get the one thing in my corner. Okay, that is so nice right now because I, I absolutely need it right now. I absolutely need it right now. Let me. Let me get that one thing real quick. Okay. If you. If y'all don't mind. Okay. If y'all do not mind, let me. Let me. I'm going in this right damn now. Go ahead, sleep on me. It's time to sleep next level on the Sleep Number Climate 360 Smart Bed. I'm ashamed the of you. Bed in the world that actively I am so thoroughly warms, ashamed of you. And effortlessly responds to help relieve pressure points for both of you. Yes, my pressure points have we know pressure. We of couples and sleep pain. too hot or too cold. Our Smart Bed cools and warms. I need to be so cool. I don't need to be warm right now. For up to 44 now. minutes more restful sleep per night. I'm going to use all 44 sleep minutes. next level. Shop now at sleepnumber.com. And I'm trying to sleep next level after that damn story. Because what the hell is wrong with y'all at these nursing homes doing so damn much? Good night, coach. Hmm. I know that 50 year olds get in too. Hell, I want to get in with Jill Scott and be Sheila's new man. Why did I get married three? But at least we ain't doing all that ish. Hell, wrong with y'all. I am ashamed, saddened, and disgusted by y'all behavior. I. I what? That, that, that's all you got from me, Miss Island Doggy. That's all. You know what? I'm dropping the damn link. Because I ain't doing this ish by my damn self. Now, y'all got something to say. Y'all come up here and let me know. We ain't doing this ish tonight. No, we're not doing this. Uh-uh. No, nope, not doing it. Not doing it. Mm-mm. 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 Not doing this. Not, no. No, no, no. That, 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 that's all. That, that, so that's all you have for me. After the black dassy, black proxy, and black imagination of me reading this out loud, me being, black, me being black matized. That is being black and traumatized. That that's all that's all you got from me is this. Okay. Okay, that's cool. That that's cool. Okay. I still love you though, Miss Island Doug. It's all good. I'm just like th this is this is all support I get for my for my black to for my blackization, my black trauma that I'm going through right now at 29 years old. <laughs> this ain't cool. Angela Bassett, 65 years old, ain't going through none of this with Courtney Vance. Courtney B. Vance. Put some respect on that brother's name. Damn it. Hey, question. Why is Chris and his guests on TikTok shading Mel? What happened? I saw um, the TikTok earlier um, with Chris and um, his cousin, but I don't I don't know if they were shading um, Mel because um, I left. Um, y'all welcome in the virtual tour live. Glad to have all y'all here. See, we were supposed to be here reviewing Charnita's World, Episode 1, Season 5. We did some updates on Diddy. Talked about somebody that had SDX with an underage child. Talked about Lizzo Queen, the music game. And then I was like, what else is there? And then I go to a story about how there are STDs on the rise for 55-year-olds at nursing homes. 
that's where we are on Thursday damn night on YouTube. I don't have any thick thighs to eat, so I'm holding comfort where I can get it, okay? Hell. Malik, I heard his ass We're looking for some. You know what? Thank you, Teresa. It is fr- See, that's how that's how blackmatized I am right now. I am that traumatized in my black trauma that I forgot it was Friday. No, it just ended. They just spoke and laughed about her singing name changing ceremony. Shade about that. I'm confused. Hashtag Melameter. Gotta go holla at y'all beautiful people. Okay. Well, well, thank you, Lady B, for at least staying for the trauma. I appreciate you. I, y- y'all, I I gotta see my parents tomorrow to do some adult stuff. I'm. You know what? I'm not even gonna ask my mom and dad. No, I'm not even gonna bring up the story. No, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. So, Brian, how did the show go? I don't want to talk about it. But you talk about everything, dude. I, I know, but I'm not talking about this one. Nope, nope, nope. For those of you who are wondering why I am hugging my pillow pad Razy very tightly, I will I will show you why, you know, because we're we're transparent over here, you know. Just um, just you know, I, I think it's important. Mm-mm, no, no, that's okay. No, mm-mm. That's okay. That that's okay. My my I this was a lot for me tonight, you know. This was a lot for me tonight. So as you see there, um nursing homes may be to blame for STD spike in adults over 55 over the age of 55. And so gonorrhea, syphilis, and um, chlamydia are is on the rise. Hey, little Paulette, you know, it really, it, it really, it really did. It really, it really did. You know, I, you know, I, you know what? I rather would have been handled in judge in in um. We have a thing that we're gonna do Sunday, and I'm just gonna say I rather would have been handled. Of a verge by um, Sassy in her chambers, then go through this story that I had to read for y'all. I'm, I'm, I didn't give it all the way away because y'all don't know how we're going to do it. But hey, little Paulette, I'm, 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 I'm right now. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling this way because nursing homes may be to blame in STD spike in adults over the age of 55 years old. That 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 means you people. That means you people. Seriously, those STDs you read off ain't no choke. They need to get that under control, pass that condoms or something. I'm, 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 I am traumatized. I, 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 I am now. Now, normally, you know, tea talk with your girl will come through. I don't want nobody to disturb tea talk with your girl right now. Let her enjoy her time in Atlanta. If anything, this will be very funny for her when she gets back to the DMV. Okay, she will have content to review. I know somebody's going to make a short out of this. I know they are. It's okay. If this gets reviewed, I will be laughing at your review because trust me, I am not faking any emotion up here at all. I'm not. I'm not. Now, if I could have a thick, gorgeous woman right now, I'll be holding on to her right now. But I'm holding on to comfort where I can get it because right now this is this is that you think this is funny. You think this is funny, but it's not. I, I don't. And you know what did to me, y'all? This story right here. This story right here from Nay underscore Bay right here, almost at five thousand followers. Blessings to her for what's to come. Right here, right here. I promise I am in one right now. I kept complaining about the lady across the hall crying. The nurses were ignoring me. I went over to check 
on her. Her and her husband was humping. This is the second time I did buy my business. It cost me my sanity. Well, now it's cost me mine. Are you happy? Are you proud of yourself? Is your soul edified? Damn it. Nay underscore nay. But who asked you to put that in the damn comment section? Who asked you? So so you so you so you were traumatized too. You just didn't want to feel alone. Is that what it is? You just thought this comment section was a support group for you. Well, it ain't. They're giving worms to. They're giving worms to each other. This is a known fact. They have no concerns about pregnancy. It gets wild in the retirement village. Well, thanks for letting us know. Since when are 55 year olds in nursing homes? Seniors do and act like they've always done in life, just in an older body. Don't sleep. They be humping, humping, smoking, drinking, same as always. I'm not saying I'm shocked. Y'all are just now noticing this, but what the uck y'all expect them to do? You know what, Mother Alien? I expect them to mind their own damn business on their own damn starship, Mother Alien. But I also would not mind getting probed by you, though, with your, with, 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 with your beauty. Because let me tell you, that 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 gorgeous chocolate alien, listen, you, you can beam me up, um, you know, through your starship. But that's neither here nor there. Let's just roll on. All folks beginning. Thank you. Thank you for your damn comment. Man, I learned this in school years ago. This definitely ain't new. Seniors definitely get in all the way in as they should. To the point where there is syphilis, chlamydia, and gonorrhea up. Okay. All right. Okay. So no sex talk or condoms in the senior living hall. One of those old men got his hand, got his hands on some blue juice. They passed <laughs> Got all those old ladies in there going crazy. <laughs> Not the golden girls. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Mm -mm. No, I gotta do it right. I gotta do it right. Mm -mm. Gotta do it right. Golden Girls, could you help Braylon out, please, if you could? Condoms, Rose! Condoms, condoms, condoms! One, 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 two more times, please, just in case. Condoms, Rose! Condoms, condoms, condoms! One more time. Condoms, Rose! Condoms, condoms, condoms! Thank you. Thank you for adding that to the group chat because it was very well appreciated. I, I, I just felt it didn't do it any justice. Human nature will continue to do what's done. Doesn't mean you stop with doesn't mean doesn't stop because you're old, but sex ed is still need for many adults. Nasty work literally. Where I work, 78-year-olds ladies come in and get tested. What? You know what? This person right here. I saw a witness local government officials in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, being graping and scamming nursing home patients, including drinking and having that type of sex. I was kidnapped. Be I was a kidnapped being patient by the same individuals which included members of the Maryland Mosque in Chicago, Illinois. You know what? Some see, some of y'all, not everything is worth the comment section. It's not. No, it's not. Anyway, Big Rob, hey, welcome in. I'm traumatized right now, so you're going to just have to roll with me. Um... Old people get cracking. Thank you for your contribution to the conversation. Because older means what? Introducing, reintroducing them. 
to sex education. We're all going to get older by the grace of God. So education is important. They truly know about condoms, though. Calhoun Entertainment, fuck you. I appreciate the fact that you are Brother Entertainment. You're almost at 7,000 subscribers. But you know what? This was disrespectful. This, this was quite frankly disrespectful. Wait a minute. I know the beam. I know the beam. Hang on, y'all. Let's see. Can I do this here? Where is it? I cannot find it. Here it is here. I think this is it. What stop? This is how I'm feeling right now. Fuck off. Out of my way! Out of my way! Can't you see he's gonna kick my butt? Hi there, young people. A nice day today. So you like kicking butts, do ya? Well, we'll show you, old man. There he is. Ah! He's gonna kick my butt. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? I love the young people. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, AJ, I'm so sorry. Y'all, okay, hang on. I got to get the arts collab caught up, y'all. Child, hey, y'all, listen. Um. Hey, you guys. Um. So to let y'all know what was going on, Big Rob wondered what was going on and just left. Um, I'm gonna just let y'all know what's going on. So I'm on um, YouTube um, still, um, and, and and so y'all, I am. Um, hey Vanessa, sip and spill. Welcome in. Um, so the story that I read out to my virtual trials, my virtual tour family, the legendary tourist guys. Um, there's this story about. Um, STDs um, in nursing homes may be blamed for STD spike in adults over the age of 55 for chlamydia, chlamydia syphilis, and gonorrhea. And so I'm holding my pillow pet right now. Like, if you go on my YouTube channel, like, I'm not joking. I'm literally traumatized right now. And I'm holding my pillow pet, Razy, live on YouTube. So that's where I'm at on a Friday. How are y'all? <laughs> my, 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 my friend. My friend AJ said, you know, brother, I'm, I'm in a much better place than you. I am so sorry that you're there, but I'm glad to be here. Though. That's what my friend AJ said. Crystal, how are you doing on a Friday evening in the Onyx Collab? Yeah, so it is um, nursing homes may be to blame for STD spike in adults over 50, age 55. And so um, it's a spike in chlamydia, gonorrhea, and syphilis. And so I read this story and somebody in the comment section, they did too fucking damn much in the comment section and traumatized me by saying this particular story. <clears throat> Let me get the story back up. I promise I am in one right now. I kept complaining about the lady across the hall crying. The nurses were ignoring me. I went over to check in on her. The hu her, hus 
her and the husband were humping. This is the second time I didn't mind my own business and it cost me my sanity. Yeah, yeah, you think? You think? And I read this out loud live on YouTube tonight. So I... I Yes, I'm holding my I'm holding my pillow. I'm holding my pillow pet. The pillow pet name is Razy. Um, Razy is giving me very much needed comfort. Otherwise, I would be um, holding a thick woman. But, you know, we take comfort where we can right now. And um, I am very traumatized right now. Like if Michelle comes in here tonight and makes fun of me, I'm not going to give two damn ucks or ish about what she says. Because I am really mentally out of it right now. Yeah. Yeah. You know, if anything, this, if anything, this is going to be probably one of the funniest YouTube videos I have ever done. Yes. Well, well, you know, listen, I, I, well, listen, I know that, oh, well, listen, I know that season people were getting in, right? That, that wasn't the thing, you know what I mean? But it was the fact of it, the fact that it was said out loud in such a blatant way. You know how I'm blunt in here and y'all are used to it. Y'all are used to my bluntness because it makes sense to y'all because there's usually some context to it. This was just, just blatant. You know what I mean? My husband's aunt was 92 years old and her and LA were fighting over a man in a nursing home. They were chasing each other in wheelchairs. They'd be fighting and I can't, you know what? Let me go get a glass of wine because I done had a good old laugh. I used to tell Mr. Duncan that's where he's going to a nursing home. You know what? If you care about your husband after this damn story, it's Alan Duncan. Dun, dun, dun. Now, of course, you know, somebody wanted to come into the chat and, and speak. And so I'm going to let that person speak real quick. Go, Hattie, what do you have to say on this? I don't care what you're doing here. You can't see me. I didn't know you was up in this home. Yeah. My sister got mad at me and put me in here about two years ago because I did one little bitty thing. What you do, honey? I slept with her, man. Hattie, at some point you got to let it go, honey. At some point you just got to give it up. Well, that's what I did. I gave it up and I let it go. Yes, we can. Yes, I'm gonna show y'all the last thing. This is this, this is my this is my actual. Th this is how I really feel now. For those of you who may not know Family Guy, I'm going to set up this clip. Okay, I'm gonna set up this clip very nicely for you. This is that story. This is me. Everybody got the context? Let's play the clip. What are you doing? Lois, to show I'm in touch with what it's like to be African-American, I am going to go to the middle of the town square, get naked, and paint myself brown. 
No, no, that's offensive. You can't pretend to be black. That's a stupid idea. What? It's a stupid idea. You're a stupid man. A stupid, stupid man. Ow, you're hurting me. Stop it. Stop it, Lois. No, I'm so sick of your crap. Why do you always do these stupid things? And why do you always announce them to me before you do them? Are you trying to get a rise out of me? Are you happy now? Is this what you want? Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> All right, Razy. I think you have done your job tonight. Very good, Razy. I love you so much. Don't you ever let anybody tell you that you ain't sad, that you ain't smart, that you ain't kind, that you are not important. Yeah, yeah, go out and cut. Yeah, go out and come back in because Clubhouse is Clubhouse. Y'all happy? Y'all happy? Got some content to review? Got some content to call? Okay, we hear you now. Are y'all happy? Y'all got some content to talk about? Y'all got some group chats to make? I just need to do one more time for everybody on the replay. Just in case. Just. What are you doing? Lois, to show I'm in touch with what it's like to be African-American, I am going to go to the middle of the town square, get naked, and paint myself brown. No, no, that's offensive. You can't pretend to be black. That's a stupid idea. What? It's a stupid idea. You're a stupid man. A stupid, stupid man. Oh, you're hurting me. Stop it. Stop it, Lois. No, I'm so sick of your crap. Why do you always do these stupid things? And why do you always announce them to me before you do them? Are you trying to get a rise out of me? Are you happy now? Is this what you want? Oh, no, it's not what I want. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now, Miss Island Duncan says he ain't going now, but I may. I'm gonna have to play it for you too because I. No, no, we're not. We're, we're, we're you... not doing this. You're not. You're not going to a nursing home where there's a chance for you to get STDs. No, so I'm gonna have to play this for you, Miss Island Duncan. There's no loss, but there's no love lost between me and you. I still love you to all black activity, but no, I have to play it. Dylan. Lois, to show I'm in touch with what it's like to be African American, I am gonna go to the middle of the town square, get naked, and paint myself brown. No, no, that's offensive. You can't pretend to be black. That's a stupid idea. What? It's a stupid idea. It really is. You're a stupid man. A stupid, stupid man. Oh, you're yeah. hurting me. Stop it. Stop nope. it, Lois. Nope. No, I'm so Correct. Why do you always do these stupid things? And why do you always announce them to me before you do them? Are you trying to get a rise out of me? Are you happy now? Is this what you want? Oh, no, it's not what I want. It's not what I want. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You see what happened? The episode did. See, this is see, this is Nubia's fault. If the episode would have aired, I would not have had to read that. Melody, I still love you. Okay, is it, it, I still love you. Okay, by the way, Moses with Melody will be amazing. It'll be fabulous. Mama Sam, I'm side on my side. Okay, it will be fabulous. I know it will. But see, the episode would have aired. I would not have went through all this today. Okay. <sighs> One thing y'all cannot say is that I don't give you a full damn show. You cannot say that about Brandon Lee, okay? Hattie, can you let the people know one more time what you did? Yeah, what you doing here? You can't see me. I didn't know you was up in this house. Yeah. 
Yeah, my sister got mad at me and put me in here about two years ago because I did one little bitty thing. What you do, honey? I slept with her, man. Daddy, at some point you got to let it go, honey. At some point you just got to give it up. Well, that's what I did. I gave it up and I let it go. You want to say that one more time, Hattie, for everybody in case they miss it? Yeah, what you doing here? You can't see me. I didn't know you was up in this home. Yeah! My sister got mad at me and put me in here about two years ago because I did one little bitty thing. What you do, honey? I slept with her, man. Hattie, at some point you got to let it go, honey. At some point you just got to give it up. Well, that's what I did. I gave it up and I let it go. Emotional damage. Emotional damage. Emotional damage. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. That's how I really feel. Hey, Michelle, I am here. Yeah, I, I read a story that maybe I should not have read about. Actually, you know what? You should relate to this because there, there are old people having sex at nursing homes and there's a rise of chlamydia, syphilis and um, chlamydia, chlamydia, syphilis and gonorrhea. So I read this story live on YouTube and you should see my face right now. Just you know what? There's one more meme. There's one more meme. Oh, we just one, just one more. Are we gonna have a problem? You best switch up that attitude. They're playing a dangerous game, boy. The Nintendo 64 Smith to use this. Oh, well, fuck you up. Yeah. One more time. Are we gonna have a problem? You best switch up that attitude. They're playing a dangerous game, boy. This is a dangerous game, boy. This is a very dangerous game, boy. And the 64 Smith to use this. Oh, well, fuck you up. One more time. Are we gonna have a problem? You best switch up that attitude. They're playing a dangerous game, boy. The Nintendo 64 Smith to use this. Oh, well, fuck you up. Well, let me ask you this. Is it because they're in their 50s or the STDs? Okay, you know what? That's a great question. That's a great question. Hang on, let me get this together. That's a great question. The 50s thing is not really what it is, right? Because I know 50-year-old people have sex, right? 
I mean, the hashtag, the black of the berry, the sweet of the juice. I mean, what 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 are we talking about? You growing, so am I. As we slept the night away, as we lay to do, we forgot about tomorrow. As we lay, ooh, hey, hey, as we lay. No problem with that. I understand what grown people do. It was the fact that it was chlamydia, syphilis, and gonorrhea up in 55 year olds. That's the thing that traumatized me. Not the fact that 50 year olds are getting it in. Because there's some 50 year olds, like I said, Jill Scott could get from me. Beyonce's getting 40. I just said that she can, I, she, she can, she can put the whole thing around and just use it as reins, and I can just get it up. Okay, I can go yah yah. I can make any, many more sounds. I'm a whole sounding board. <clears throat> now I'm not gonna be able to make Beyonce a sounding board because my Black Life Matters and I li- li- listen. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> So, I'm glad you asked that. I'm glad you asked that because, yes, it was the STDs that traumatized me with the age group. Not the 55 year olds. Just to let everybody know, I am not using any ageism at all. Because honestly, Karen Hugo looks the best out of all the women in Potomac. Just saying. Garcelle could get it. I think Garcelle and Jamie Foxx should have been married by now. Personally, my damn self. When Taraji P. Henson said, this is an ass, every man and woman relieved themselves on that empire set that day. And I am pissed that Lee Daniels did not call me to handle that same. Because she needed to be handled that day. <sighs> oh, my Lord. You know why I'm actually okay? Because I know some of y'all gonna be like, "Hey, kids, do you do, do you want to know the consequences of what it is to have sex?" Watch my friend Braylon. You see how traumatized he is. Do you want to be in that position? Don't do sex. <laughs> Well, that's why I fell out of the bushes, brain, because they were in my age range. I was like, wait a minute, that's ass backwards. Get STDs that laying like that's what got to me. Like, are y'all serious? Is this what the fuck we're doing? Okay. Right. Is this what we're doing? Is this what we're doing? Is this the motherfucking ass thing we're doing? Huh? Is this, is this, is this the bite? Is this what we're bringing? Melody, I just want you to know my glasses are in this position. My eyes are looking this way. I'm like this, I'm like this. (laughs) 
if Mr. Duncan was, if Mr. Duncan were to give me that, to give me something at this age, he and he older than me, I'ma say you've been down at that table. <laughs> Listen, this is what we do. We inform over here. We educate. We elevate over here. So I'm going to drop this story in the chat, you know, just just in case, you know, because you you may have somebody that you know. (laughs) By the way, 13 people in the building. um, Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um... You know, I really don't know how I'm going to do this week, you know, with this information now. Um, I feel you. I'm exhausted too, child. <laughs> Let's use that rich and put pray time out. <laughs> no, I feel it. I feel it. Oh my God. Y'all cannot say I do not give y'all a good show. Y'all can never say that about Brandon Lee, not one time. If anybody does say Brandon doesn't give you a good show, you let them know. Go back to this particular show where Brandon was traumatized. And you will see that Brandon is very committed to, to, to his work. Teresa, because I was trying to go bet Brandon got me just to laugh at. Listen, there it is there. If you got share that story with anybody in your life that is 55 and older at a nursing home. Listen, you could save your grandmother, you could save your granddaddy, you you could save your whole, you can save a lot of people in your life. Okay. Now just know that you had to give it to them real, like I did. So if you just want to show them this video instead, you just show them this video instead. I swear if I see a review on one of y'all, I, I swear if I see a review about this on a content creator's channel, please send me the channel so I can laugh my ass off. Okay, please do. <laughs> Please do, cause I, cause I, cause I see double digits in here. I see ten people. I've, I've seen thirteen. So I know there's some people that they are genuinely laughing at me. And I'm okay with it. You know, I mean, I put myself out here, and my reaction is pure comedy. So please use me, utilize me as content. Okay, just send me the link for the review so I can laugh with you. Okay. I swear, when I get my future wife, she's gonna be like, "Well, good damn, um, sweetie, you you a lot to deal with. I know, but yet you attracted to it, ain't that so? <laughs> That's not the only thing I'm attracted to. Hey, hey, keep your damn mouth shut. We in public, and your point is, you don't keep your mouth shut. Well, you will give me a reason to keep it shut. We'll get over here. You say less. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 no. We're going to take a little break because I've been on for a good minute. So we're going to take a little break. Roll it. Now that you've reached the stage in your life where quality television is important, Nubian TV is a black network that speaks to your lifestyle. Nubian TV is the world's first digital network devoted to the upscale and political lifestyles of black people. Nubian TV's programming includes politics, travel, fashion, food, automotive, arts and culture, civil rights, music, and more. Watch now on Amazon Fire TV, Roku, or watch globally at NubianTV.net. Nubian TV, it's what you want to watch. For years, people have been singing all about my chicken. Love that chicken from Popeye's. 
Nobody has a love affair with chicken like you do with my slow marinated, hand breaded Popeyes bona fide chicken. And right now, it's Love That Chicken Month at Popeyes with two big pieces and a biscuit for just $2.99. So, what are you waiting for? Come get some of my world famous chicken and raise your mighty voices. Love That Chicken from Popeyes. Hey, grab me one too. Welcome to Copeland's. Copeland's is not just some fancy place for your big night out. In fact, there's no occasion too big. Or if you like, too small. Copeland's. There's always something good. What is this feeling that everyone's feeling? Ding, ding, ding. With such feeling. Ding, ding, ding. This winning feeling. Ding, ding, ding. This tingle of success. Ding, ding, ding. This sensation of triumph. Ding, ding, ding. This sensation. Oh, I can feel it. This season, everyone gets the winning feeling. Win guaranteed prizes like 250 grand and more. Only at Dave and Buster's. Ding, ding, ding. What is this feeling? Ding, ding, ding. That everyone's feeling. Ding. I got a question for you. What does this city know about luxury? Huh? What does a town that's been to hell and back know about the finer things in life? Well, I'll tell you, more than most. You see, it's the hottest fires that make the hardest steel. Add hard work and conviction and the know-how that runs generations deep in every last one of us. That's who we are. That's our story. Now, it's probably not the one you've been reading in papers, the one being written by folks who've never even been here and don't know what we're capable of. Because when it comes to luxury, it's as much about where it's from as who it's for. Now, we're from America, but this isn't New York City, or the Windy City, or Sin City, and we're certainly no one's Emerald City. city and this is what we do I still love y'all I didn't love all that. Welcome back into Brayton Lee's virtual tour live. We are live on tour, everybody. We've been on the highways and byways of the possibilities of what could be of this virtual tour live for one hour, 58 minutes, and 31 seconds. Glad to have all of you here. Um, Trinita's world did not come on tonight, but um, we took a, we, we, we took what happened and got a whole original episode. Talked about Lizzo quitting music allegedly. Um, we talked about some updates on Diddy, and then you saw probably the most traumatized I will ever be on YouTube over anything that I have read live out loud. Um, 
you got a whole show. You got a whole damn show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, the episode what came on and I wanted not have to went through all this. See, it, it's Newbie and TV's fault that I went through all this trauma. I'm joking. Okay, y'all. Calm the hell down. I'm joking with y'all. Newbie did not put me through that. Okay, now I did not have to read that. But I think my reaction, you know, at least showcases the seriousness. Good damn, this thing is going on my nerve. Anyway. But at least my reaction showcases the seriousness of sexual health and protection. Okay. And quite frankly, did I add some dramatics? Yeah, I did. Okay, I'm live. I gotta add a little je ne sais quoi. But in the same token, I think I had a normal reaction that a black person would have to this story. I really think I reflected the black culture very articulately well. I mean, really, all jokes aside, everything aside, it really is serious. All jokes aside, it really is serious, y'all. I did not make up that story. And you know what? Just to even emphasize it further, here's the story from NBC News, okay? Just to, just to show y'all right here. here. Here's the story right there from NBC News. And there it is right there, just in case. Anybody want to say, oh, brain, make it up? Nope, it's right here. It's right here. Ah, my lord. You know, there are some days I wonder why I do this. And then for this reason. So if you hear this story anywhere else, let them know that Braylon covered it first, okay? And also let them know to play my reaction so that way they can give their audience the severity of how serious this is and finally can we all please do better so Braylon doesn't have to ever go through that traumatization ever again can we please do that please in 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 the words of um the words of the golden girls <clears throat> just going to just let let them say it because I think I think it's important for it to be said. So you know, go ahead. Condoms, Rose. Condoms, condoms, condoms. Condoms, Rose. Condoms, condoms, condoms. Condoms, Rose. Condoms, condoms, condoms. We good? I'm gonna ask y'all if y'all want to end the show. I got a feeling y'all going to want to end the show. I got a feeling what y'all are going to say. I got a feeling. <laughs> Not you actually doing it again. <laughs> I'm up here trying to think of how many relatives I have in retirement or nursing home. I cannot. To all of those people that you are thinking about in a retirement home. Condoms, Rose. Condoms, condoms, condoms. All right, y'all. That's our show. I appreciate everybody coming through. Um, that's your show. I I, I I already did the Daily Motivator on the other one. So 
I, if I leave you with anything positive, anything positive, if you want to know what not to do, right? If you want to know what not to do, hang on, let me see if I can find it. Hang on. Now, if you want to know what not to do. Yeah, what you doing here? You can't see me. I didn't know you was up in this house. Yeah, my sister got mad at me and put me in here about two years ago because I did one little bitty thing. What you do, honey? I slept with her, man. Daddy, at some point you got to let it go, honey. Some point you just got to give it up. Well, that's what I did. I gave it up and I let it go. So that's what not to do, right? And you want to know how you prevent that? You prevent it by using these, okay? You prevent it by using this tool. Condoms, Rose! Condoms, condoms, condoms! And if you don't, if, and if you don't, you deserve this. What are you doing? Lois, to show I'm in touch with what it's like to be African-American, I am going to go to the middle of the town square, get naked, and paint myself brown. No, no, that's offensive. You can't pretend to be black. That's a stupid idea. What? It's a stupid idea! You're a stupid man! A stupid, stupid man! Oh, you're hurting me! Stop it! Stop it, Lois! No! I'm so sick of your crap! Why do you always do these stupid things? And why do you always announce them to me before you do them? Are you trying to get a rise out of me? Are you happy now? Is this what you want? Oh, no, it's not what I want. It's not what I want. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did everybody learn something tonight? Did everybody learn something? Are you grateful for your life? Doing a little self-reflection? Are you going to be better tomorrow than you are today? I need at least one damn yes from one of y'all before we go, because I'm not going to go to bed with my with my soul unrest. OK, I need at least one person to say I learned I, all those three things. I Yes, Braylon, I, I got at least, I need at least one of y'all. That that wasn't that wasn't the answer I was looking for, Teresa. Right. But I appreciate your participation. I, I, I need one person to say yes to everything I just said. Just just please. As soon as you do it, I end the line. Thank you. Love y'all. I feel the love. I send it right back to you. Bye, everybody. Good night. Commercial break. Fireworks. Good night. By the way, just one more thing. This is how I'm feeling right now. I finally did it. Popeye's new chicken sandwich. I've been trying to make the perfect chicken sandwich forever. Um, how does that make you feel? You know me. It had to be just right. Mm -hmm. Finding a bun as good mm -hmm. as my chicken was not easy. Mm -hmm. I mean, I did it, obviously. I think we've made a lot of progress here. I feel great. Good talk. Mmm. I'm proud of you. My new chicken sandwich is buttermilk battered and served on toasted brioche. Try it in spicy or classic. No, that chicken from Popeyes. The only thing is there was no progress. I'm not proud. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. Now, good night, everybody. <laughs> Love y'all. Have a good weekend. See y'all soon. Bye. Things have been a little quiet around here. We've missed the fun. We've missed the excitement. We've missed the entertainment. We've missed the nightlife, but most of all, we've missed you. We're getting rich. Caesar's rewards. We can't wait to welcome you back. What is this feeling that everyone's feeling? Ding.
ding, ding. With such feeling. Ding, ding, ding. This winning feeling. Ding, ding, ding. This tingle of success. Ding, ding, ding. This sensation of triumph. Ding, ding, ding. This sensation. Oh, I can feel it. This season, everyone gets the winning feeling. Win guaranteed prizes like 250 grand and more. Only at Dave and Buster's. Ding, ding. What is this feeling ding, ding, ding. that everyone's feeling? Ding, ding, ding. With such feeling. Ding, ding, ding. This winning feeling. Ding, ding, ding. This tingle of success. Ding, ding, ding. This sensation of triumph. Ding, ding, ding. This sensation. Oh, I can feel it. This season, everyone gets the winning feeling. Win guaranteed prizes like 250 grand and more. Only at Dave and Buster's. Ding, ding. Hey, grab me one too. Copeland's. Copeland's is not just some fancy place for your big night out. In fact, there's no occasion too big. Or if you like, too small. Copeland's. There's always something good. Now that you've reached the stage in your life where quality television is important, Nubian TV is a black network that speaks to your lifestyle. Nubian TV is the world's first digital network devoted to the upscale and political lifestyles of black people. Nubian TV's programming includes politics, travel, fashion, food, automotive, arts and culture, civil rights, music, and more. Watch now on Amazon Fire TV, Roku, or watch globally at NubianTV.net. Nubian TV, it's what you want to watch. Caesar. Just look at him. Politician, general, author, ruler, man. Legend has it, he's not only stared into the belly of the beast, he's had it for dinner. Here he's free to relax, or party, or relax, or party, or relax, and party. His is a world of opulence. And the occasional impulse buy. Not one to rest on his laurels, he's famous for ushering in a new age of entertainment. So, for anyone seeking a place where the sun never sets on a good time, all this awaits. I am Caesar, and I approve this palace. <laughs> 